I want to thank everybody who um, always sees the need to support our initiatives. I thank the institution for being open and welcoming to the dental services unit coming and providing the service to their wards. We have to think during this time of COVID where we want to have minimal interaction, minimal movement of the wards, we felt that it was the best thing to come to the institution and provide the service to make it easier, not only for administration, but for the wards themselves. And um, it's a pity all of you out there in the virtual world cannot see, um, but they are very happy and they're very elated that not only having the service, but actually having visitors and you know, engaging with other people other than the staff that they love so dearly. Um, I would like to thank you for, for being here with us. This is um, the beginning of a lot more to come now that Elderly Affairs is associated with the Ministry of Health and Wellness. This is the launch, this is the beginning of a series of activities the Dental Services Unit will be conducting throughout the year. We're hoping to replicate this venture at all the other elderly homes. Um, meanwhile, the care of the elderly in the clinics continues, and so we would like all your support and encouragement during our implementation of the services. I'm very pleased, very happy to be here this morning with you and I continue to say it is activities like this one um, which bring me the greatest pleasure because it is always good to see you continue to do work um, in the field, in the communities. I know you have been doing it but I really love the way you are you, you're focused. Um, you have recognized without anybody prodding you that we have elderly affairs um, in our ministry now, and so right away you jumped on board to say, okay, let's focus on oral hygiene at the elder care homes, and I, I wish to encourage you. I completed uh, visits to the, to the elderly homes in the Castries Basin just last week, and I can tell you there is a lot that can be done, and I am committed to ensuring that the government focuses a little more on elderly care. Our Prime Minister is very passionate about this, Honorable Philip J. Pierre. He wants us to change the conversation about growing older in St. Lucia, about our elderly folk, whether they be our relatives or, or people in our communities. And what you are doing here today is certainly a step in the right direction. You continue to step in the right direction. I was with you some weeks ago um, for our dental health fair and I know you've done a few, and you continue to plan for others. I really want to say also how pleased I am to note that there are several collaborators and several partners in this initiative. I look at the back and I see um, lots of food, uh, there are lots of supplies, and I understand that not only did the companies contribute, but the staff you also contributed from your own personal funds. So I wish to thank you on behalf, of, on behalf of the government and all the other sponsors. I just want to say that this is a wonderful initiative and um, I see our immunization officer is also here, so I suspect she may be checking on COVID-19 um, injections or, or vaccines to make sure everybody's okay. <laughs> so I want to just say I'm pleased to be here and we have our bubbly um, dental hygienist um, here with us. She's going to be a dentist soon, I know. So let me thank all of you for all of your, for, you know, the great effort which you are putting in. And I want to tell you, I'm committed to being part of this team, committed to leading this team to new heights and in new areas. But let's just get it done. I, I love the way you're excited when you're out of the office and you're around the communities doing work. This is my favorite part of the work. So thank you very much and let's get it done. Thank you. I take it as a gesture of a welcome to the Ministry of Health and it is greatly appreciated. It is timely and necessary. We thank you also for the partnering companies like Peter and Company and the Millennium Heights Complex for your donations, your gifts. Each will be used 
to help edify spiritually, emotionally, or nutritionally benefit our residents. So we thank you, and please enjoy your stay with us. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of our hospital and our team, headed by Dr. Barrero, for inviting us here to Comfort Bay today. Um, sh our dental team was very excited and looking forward to this campaign, and we've been doing a week of activities at the Millennium Heights Medical Complex with our staff. And the donations that we've brought here today have come from our staff, and our very own doctor is here with the residents of Comfort Bay um, offering dental services just for today for the dental health fair. And we're very thankful for the Ministry of Health for allowing us to partner with you and for letting us to come on a ride. And we hope that there will be a lot more collaboration in the future. This is just the first of many. And again, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.